Johns Hopkins, 50%, 6 of 12 already on the season. It was a huge storyline last year in this game. The Blue Jays scored seven extra man goals. Patrick Frazier, seven in white, the lefty from Walpole, Mass, at four himself. He has it here. Brown and Catoni also huge threats on the extra man. There's a look for Stanwick, and the Blue Jays take advantage. Now the Blue Jays, is that man will be playing all afternoon long if you do. Circular passing, it's pretty simple. Princeton has their midfield defender inside, and they're just like, the guys are gassed. They, they're gonna need to sub off. And Marr, freshman mistake, he pushes the tempo right away and nearly turns it over. You've got to recognize the condition of the midfielders who are bringing the ball down the field. Are they tired, are they fresh? Who are they? But still they get the extra man, and Stanwick buries it again. It's the exact same play. And basically was. It's just a simple play where Princeton's rotation is a tad slow. Goldstein 34 is good, but that's the second time. Four. Up in white on that right-handed shooting wing is Ryan Brown. And then seven, the lefty, Patrick Frazier. Th those guys are got cannons. So that, that's one and, and one A. And Tony inside, the crafty Canadian who has it right there. That's why they call it execution. Stanwick to Marr. Put nearly halfway to last year's seven extra man goals in this matchup. That's the way you diagram it. Marr cutting right down the slot. Momentary dust right now because these refs are calling absolutely everything today. Is that not true? No, you are. You're right. They've called everything. They I called also, the push I, on a turn on Guida. They called it, you know. I also think if it happened on the other side of the field, it would have been called, but that's just me. But instead, the Blue Jays will take it, that's for sure. Look, the numbers bear out exactly what you're saying. It's like Duke basketball. Tic tac toe. They got no answers for this extra man. That's the First, it was Shaq Stanwick coming up the right hand side, hit twice in a row, and then he found Marr inside. This is a, a dart to the backside post. Katoni not seeing a normal shift. What adjustments do the Tigers make on the man down? So easy for the Blue Jays in the first half. They give it to Crawley. Blaisdell makes the save. Now, if they could complete the clear and run it out, they'll have a man down stop. 15 saves for Tyler Blaisdell. And their first man down stop. That was Hopkins' fifth. Well, it's not over yet. They could get the ball back. Sims walks right into a double team. So now Kuhn going up ahead with 20 seconds left in the extra man. They had the extra man, so they doubled the ball. And now they got to play man down again for 15 more seconds. Where you got to find right, your bearings. Say, exactly. You got to find your bearings here defensively. Call out your spots. You can't give him that shot, but he, oh, it gets blocked and it still goes in. Uh, it started with a, a turnover generated by a great double team. And Foley, and then Frazier. Watch this. This shot will get blocked by the stick. Triggers down, and then there's no right side or screen oh, yeah. right there away yep. from the ball. Good call by the officials. No reason. Coach Bates not happy with it. Don't know if he saw it, but there's really no reason for that. I think he said, I thought he was shooting it. Again, the extra man, five for five. Johns Hopkins. Frazier shoots high. Stanwick with the backup. Frazier had four of those last year in this game. Stanwick skip pass gets through. Here's an opportunity for Brown. Gets it back. Doesn't go in. Now again. No one cares about it right now, but the goal scoring streak's on the line, and he just got robbed by the pipes twice. Now grab it with an opportunity. Grab it! Save Turnbull. Now Turnbull comes out. Nice ground ball by Foley. That's how close Brown has come to extending the goal scoring streak, the longest in the country.